Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, it was the first day of middle school. Uh, it was a good one, girlie. Wow, Sky, you make it sound like we're dying. Might as well be. We're not dying. We're just going back to school tomorrow. Like I said, we might as well be. Middle school isn't going to be all bad, but hey, we had an awesome summer, and that's at least something to be grateful for. I guess. It really was a great summer, wasn't it? I'd say so. Tanning on the beach, sleeping till noon, watching all the Netflix we could. I would say it was a pretty great summer. To the summer. To the summer. And just think, now that we're going to be in middle school, that automatically makes us older and way more mature. Wow, you're right. I never thought of it that way. Well, you def should. I guess. You ready to go have one final night of summer fun? Let's do this. The next morning. Meanwhile. Hey, Mom, I'd love to talk, but I'm about to miss my first day of school. So I don't have time for breakfast, but I'll see you later. Wait, I need to get a picture to mark your first day of middle school. Ugh, Mom, do we really have to do that this year? I'm a teenager now, and I'm way too old for first day of school pictures. Wait a minute. It's your first day, and you're already running late? You're right. This day is not off to a good start. It's probably a sign that I just need to stay home, because it's probably just going to get worse from here, and we can't have that now, can we? Nice try, Kenzie. You are going to love middle school. I know you're my mom, and you're always supposed to be right, but I am very much doubting this information you're giving me. Well, I'm serious. Middle school is so much better than elementary school. You're not stuck in one classroom all day with one boring teacher. You have different teachers and different classes for every subject. Come on, think about how great that is. Wow, terrific. More teachers to assign more homework. Party pooper? Come on, give it a chance. I think you're really gonna like it. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice in the matter, right? A few moments later. Whoa, this is a lot bigger than our last school. A lot. I wonder if it's too late to go back to the fifth grade. I bet we could still fit in a teeny tiny desk if we tried to squeeze. Excuse me, girls. Whoa, that was a man. He has a bigger beard than my Real adults go here? I I don't know about this, girly. Going back to elementary school is looking better and better, if you ask me. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure she had on a full face of makeup. Since when are people still wearing makeup? Uh, I didn't get the memo. I don't think I have the right outfit on for this. I think I should go home and try again tomorrow. No, you are not leaving me. Come on, we got this. Sky, you're uh, not moving. Well, uh, neither are you. Okay, okay, on the count of three, we're going in. What? Meanwhile, do you know where our locker is? Um, do I look like I know where anything is? I think maybe it's down here. This way. Come on. Usually sixth graders on the opposite side of the school. You mean the less scary side of school? Whoa! Ooh. Watch where you're going, loser. Oh my gosh, girly, are you okay? Did that really just happen? And more importantly, were there any cute boys looking? No, I don't think so. You're good, but are you all right? Yeah, I mean, I think I hurt myself to see more than anything. Boy, who was that girl? She was mean. I don't know, but she looks way too old to be a sixth grader. Are you sure you're okay to walk? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Let's just find our lockers. You sure you're okay, girly? Yeah, Sky, I'm totally fine. Besides, it's no big deal. I doubt I'll ever have to see that awful girl again anyways. No, probably not. I don't mean to rush you, but... How come every time you say I don't mean to rush you, but you're really about to rush me? I'm just saying, we need to hurry and get to English. Wait, what? What are you talking about? We have to get to science, not English. Science? No, the schedule clearly says we have to get to English first. Look. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What is it? Do you not see it, Sky? Our schedules, they're different. We're split up this year. We're not in the same class. No, that can't be possible. Call the principal. Heck, call the police. There's no way we're split up. We are, and now we have to go to class by ourselves. So I guess I'll see you after class. Yes, goodbye, Sky. Moments later. Welcome to middle school. I hope you all had a great summer. We did, thanks.
That's fantastic, but summer is over. It's time to learn, so let me start by telling you how middle school is gonna work. You will each be assigned eight hours of homework per night. Eight hours? But how are we supposed to sleep? That is not my problem now, is it? You'll have two hours of English, an hour of science, two hours of math, an hour of history, and two hours for electives. That will equal your eight hours. I hope you're writing this down. Oh my gosh, look how very well. Now that we're over that, let's start roll call. Mackenzie. Here. Oh my god, her name's Mackenzie. Loser girl has a name. A weird one, that's for sure. Do you see what she's wearing? Who even wears pink anymore? It is so babyish. I know. I wonder if her style inspiration is strawberry shortcake. Ashley. Ayla. Here. Nice to see you two in the sixth grade again. I hope summer school treated you well. school we're not like loser freak over here maybe let's try and refrain from the name calling and perhaps you won't be held back another year a lot of boring math later hello there i don't remember seeing you around here is this your first day in middle school yes it is and what brings you to see me um well my stomach is really hurting and this whole day is just making it hurt more and i think maybe i would just be better off at home ah you do do you yeah <laughs> I think I should just call my mom. I'm sorry, but if you have a stomach ache, why are you coughing? Oh, um, uh, it's moving into my chest. You know, honey, I'm not a doctor, but I have been a nurse for a very long time. I don't really think your stomach is the problem here. Oh, no, stomach and now my chest are definitely the problem. You know, I've seen a lot of stomach aches in all my years here, most of them actually on the first day of school. And you know the cause of about 90% of them turn out to just be nerves. No, no, that's not the case of mine. Like, I'm really sick. Mackenzie, you know, I know that there is nothing wrong with you and I need to send you back to class. But, but... I'm sorry, there's not much I can do for you unless you have a fever. Ugh, if only I could just give myself a fever. A few moments later... I don't know what that nurse was talking about. I'm definitely sick and I shouldn't be in school. Today or maybe even tomorrow. I don't know, I just can't do this middle school thing anymore. I'm done. I am so ready to go back to elementary school. Mackenzie, what on earth are you doing outside? I was just coming to bring you your lunch. You forgot it at home. I, um, uh, I was just catching some fresh air. You know, it could really help that learning process. Were you trying to ditch class? No, me ditching? No, of course not. What is going on, kiddo? It was so horrible, Mom. It was the worst. You can't make me go back there. You can't make me go back into the school. Please, I'll do anything. I just want to go back to the fifth grade. Please, just let me go back to the fifth grade and stay there. I don't want to grow up. It's too scary. What happened? Just tell me what happened one thing at a time. It's everything. It's not just one thing. I was separated from Sky. I have a bajillion hours of homework per night. And the bullies are so mean, Mom. No one ever made fun of me at my old school. And now everyone here looks so grown up and acts so much older than they actually are. It's terrible. Oh, honey, I know it may seem like that, but it's really not, I promise. And why does it seem so bad? Well, in elementary school, you were in a small pond, so you felt like a big fish. Now that you're in a much bigger pond, so you feel like you're a small fish. But that's okay. Everyone goes through that. And in a few years, you're going to be too big for this pond, and it'll be time for high school. You're saying I'll have to go through this again? No, no, that's not the point. What I'm saying is it's okay to be nervous, and it's okay to feel out of place. It's all part of growing up. Oh, what about all the homework? I'll never... Never get it all done, Mom. Uh, let me see. Mackenzie, did you read this, honey? Duh! Why do you think I'm freaking out? Read it again. Homework given per class each night, 30 minutes? 30 minutes? The teacher said eight hours. Honey, is it possible that maybe you were so upset and worked up that you heard eight hours even though he only said 30 minutes? It's possible. See, you got yourself so worked up. It's really not that bad. I guess you're right. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst for me to go in and finish out the day. Exactly. Especially since you really don't have much of a choice. Thanks, Mom. One hour later. Where is class 210? Where is class 210? Ah, here it is. Oh, I'm really getting the hang of this whole school thing. Hey, girly. Sky, what are you doing here? I didn't know you had health class at this time. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I felt like I was never gonna see you again. Yeah, I do, and I have history after. I have history after too. Wait, this must have been what my mom was talking about. What do you mean? I said something this morning about having different teachers for different things. So I guess this means we'll have more classes together after all. Huh, maybe this whole middle school thing isn't that bad after all. Speak for yourself. Okay, we've got like 30 seconds before the teacher comes in to start the class. Tell me everything about what has happened in your day so far. Okay, so first, 